earlier. He did? Yeah. Oh, Kawhi, so. legend. Bowser go kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, this is the old SK president. That's my president right there. That's my goat. That's my goat. Speaking of goats, Jake, third glitch. Jake at glitch. I mean, look at him, man. He's and cooking. You, you know what I've noticed? He ain't playing Steve anymore. He's playing Enderman. He's on the Enderman. Yeah. yeah. That's, ain't that's that your boy? L listen. I cannot make claims to anything, but I thought Jake and I had an agreement. He would be Steve, I would be Enderman, but we haven't talked yet. Yeah, he's definitely not looking like your boy. He's looking like Jake's boy oh after that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, look at that. Only 25% off rip. I mean, like, how do you land as Bowser against this? You hope and pray, man. <laughs> hope you don't get up tilted up air to, like, 60. I mean, look how big this is. Not quite a true confirm there. No, you got to be careful of that. you got to go for the, usually the grab or the down tilt. Cut her shield pressure on that sense. Bowser definitely have a shield. Frame six, very fast. Mm -hmm. Great combo breaker. Listen, you, you don't want to get command grabbed either. That kills real early, especially, I mean, the one thing that's nice about Steve is he's a little heavier. You can kind of stand it. Yeah. Oh, oh what a trade. Jake smash, not quite connecting. No, but the jab actually getting him out of the first punish. Wow. Down it. Nice not able to clean up the edge guard, but still gets the kill. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the big part about this with Bowser is like, look, you're not that far behind. 73%, that is nothing, but Diamond Tools will change that. Oh, yeah, he's probably looking for another one, too. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Up Ooh. tilt to up air confirm on the platform here, too. Okay, nice little 20%. Oh. Mm -hmm. Of course, that angle. Yep, there's that fair. Try to cover that space for Cheek. Oh, what attack! What attack on the block! For I once, the block not coming into Enderman's play. Hey, oh what? my gosh, he got grabbed out of up B. Like, completely. He got popped out of the minecart and it grabbed him. Minecart's kind of crazy, man. Listen, I don't know. Man, that's pa Steve. Empowered minecart, too, like right there. That's mm. so much damage. So, so much, much knockback. Uh, and armor, too. I mean, look at that. So intimidating here. Oh, nice fair. Kawhi keeping it pretty close, though. He's like one F total away from killing here. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what a trade. What a oh, trade. no. But it just ends it early. Yeah. Look at that. 52% off of one little confirm right there. I don't think that'll do it. No. no. Not enough rage. No, not, not yet at flat. least. That'll nice. Do Dude, Kawhi is playing out of his mind today. His reactions are on point to these legend get ups. Mm hmm. Oh, there's that down air confirming a lot of percent here. How does he get out? Oh, no spike. Ooh, you got lucky that that was a good hitbox. Look here. Yep, go high. And you're dead here. Made a big bet and didn't pay off. Mm, listen, you want to get those out of shit options out of the way as soon as possible. And unfortunately, Jake just read that out be super, super early. Fresh water for me? Question. Uh -huh. I'll take it. I wonder what stage we'll see Kawhi go here, too. I don't know. I mean, you know, Bowser likes Battlefield, but he likes don't Town and City as well. Town and City? Yeah, because it's so close on the side. Right. Side B kills a little earlier there. Yeah. And the oh. platforms that go really high, too. Oh, yeah. Very you want to be careful, though, because you give Steve Battlefield, I mean, that's ladder combos. That he gets is. even more percent off of that. That's a lot town city. It like is. Said. Good call, Richie. Good call. Already getting steel out. That's crazy. 36% off rip. Not too much so far. Bowser can make that back pretty quick. That's oh. going to be damage. He rolled in instead of away. It's a very interesting choice, though. Because he... after 11 hits of almost every multi-hit in the game, he can roll away. Not that that mattered, because he just died. He just died so. anyway. Let me, you can't, you can't multi-hit out of that. You get multi-hit off stage, you're getting spiked. Jake looking really clean here in one of his finals. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kawhi, be careful. I thought he was fast falling to his death right there. I don't know if Jake tried to push him off on purpose and then continue the combo or miss info, but it worked out for him. I mean, look, that's the best place you want Bowser is off stage, so I would not be surprised if that was in Jake's head right now. The movement? <laughs> Ooh, I, I like that. Jake has been mixing that up recently with the Elytra. I've noticed he's been using it a oh, lot whoa. more. <laughs> that is unteckable when Steve is standing on it like that. Raises that range, too. When he's standing on that anvil. Jake's <laughs> Do you see him just delaying yeah. out there? Wow. M tilt need to get angled up. Ooh, saved his double jump. That's smart. There's the platform. Yeah, there it is, like you were talking about off the side there. No, oh, cancels the diamond. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of throw him off, that was good. It still gets it anyways. Oh, that TNT looked really scary, mm -hmm. even on the other side of the stage. Oh, yeah. Jake going for the spike there, that's crazy. He's really going out for these kills. He wants, he wants to get in the grands right now. Oh, and he's set up on that platform. Did you see that? that he like stunned lot. He was like, you're not getting out of here. 
I'm putting you on this platform. Up smash him. Up smash on platform is so scary. It just locks you forever. What are you going to do? You're stuck there. You could definitely shield it, but at the same time, with the way Jake set it up, he put him in the perfect tech scenario. He's like, oh, he neutral got up. Up smash. Yep. It covered roll right as well, too. Yeah, so. he had the roll option covered, so. That's intimidating. I mean, you don't have a lot on platform to do against Steve. You've got to be so careful. With how safe up tilt and up air are as well. You got to. It's a lot of pressure. There's no way you are landing in with some of these unsafe aerials. Just raw grab off rip and it just begins. What a, what a call out right there. Why just can't seem to find his footing in neutral here. That's the unfortunate part too, is if you can't find that against Steve, especially with a character like Bowser, man, you are gonna be in the mud for a while here. Oh my goodness. Jake's coverage in neutral is just immaculate versus Kawhi right now. Yeah. That was a nice grab off Anvil though. I did not think that would actually grab him. I did. Okay, Kawhi adapting a little bit to some of this pressure. Did he find the vibe here? Oh, I don't know, back off stage again, and Jake's oh, got this the TNT, TNT trap. Yep. Doesn't work, but still, you hate, you don't want to get hit by that. Man, it's the pressure, oh my gosh! Back the back air. air, it's so quick. With a character like Steve, man, what are you gonna do? Uh, there you go. Do you get the edge guard here, Kawhi, you need it. Oh, you got scaredy air dodge in. That, no, not quite a side beat. Go, Jake kind of baiting him in to There's an aggressive option. End. Yep, just true on the heavier characters. Just take the percent and cash out. Yeah, oh, crazy. Oh, Ooh, what movement? This Jake going in for the kill. That's that might do it. Here. Yep, okay. Town does have very high blast zones, but yeah. the side just evens it out. So. Not getting this fight kickbox again, but still pressing him off stage. That's going to be the kill. Wow, it looked like one <laughs> kill there for a second, but yeah. geez. Well, Bowser can almost survive that. The other characters would die a lot faster, that's what we'll say. Wow, what a uh -oh. spot dodge call out to get the Nair. Yeah, oh, no. And 60% off of one up tilt up air combo. Absolute insane damage apple here by Jake. Yet again. Wow, he was really hunting for that setup. Oh. No Jake's back. One thing I've also noticed about Jake is he's just got such great shield pressure. He really does. Even with Bowser's frame six out of shield, like, Kawhi just isn't quite sure what he can and can't punish. Mm -hmm. You know, and Jake's not letting him get away with the up B either. That's the worst part. So Kawhi has opted not Whoa. to do it. What a side B. That was a call out. Oh. That almost killed all the way across the stage. He, he was almost coast to coast. We've taken a, a round trip. Empowered Minecraft is, Minecraft is nothing to mess with. Oh, no. uh, you can't do that in your ledge like that. Mm. Incredibly fast, punish heavy characters. Mm -hmm. We are already beginning. <laughs> Both players are swinging for the ropes here. Goblin finally getting a chain in. Wow, tries to shine out of that combo, doesn't quite get it. Mm -mm. Oh, but still with a bit of a percent lead here. Temp with the massive juggle right now. He's looking this is the scary part. How do you get off ledge versus Fox? Oh, no way. You've got to be so careful and time it really well. The, the Fox players like to tell you you got to get up attack at the right time, but they nah. have a plan for it. They have a plan. It's also really laggy once you're at higher percent, so it takes a long time for the button to actually come out. So. Oh, yeah. But, no. I was supposed to say, please don't unshield get blown up by that. Oh, That's yeah. so scary. Because you're at Fox. Kill percent here. There's the back air. So clean, you cannot miss those versus Goblin. You have to hit those techs. And you notice the moment Goblin got off ledge and got at least a little bit of advantage, it already led to a stock, even when he was in the percent deficit. That is insane. Can he make this back? Do you have a jump? Oh, wow, nice. Air dodge you needed. Oh, no way. Not getting the setup for that and missing the grab. One thing I've noticed about Goblin recently, he's been innovating a little bit more with the weak up air follow ups. So right. I've been seeing that a little bit in the juggles. Yeah, I saw that earlier in the game, kind of dropping it, that back air barely killing here. But he has been getting a little more percent off of it, too. It's nice to see. Well, let's see if Temp can get this chain moving. Okay, nice little 40%. And climbing. Go. I think Temp has done a really good job so far at not letting Goblin land. Getting that good percent, but at the same time, Goblin is just racking up damage here. 101 percent, that's so scary as Fox. He's such a neutral glass cannon. Ah, temp overextending with the fair here, now being pushed off stage. Okay, no huge punish. No kill yet, Temp's still in, no. Oh, what? too soon. Hey, look, he read that jump up fair, he was like, you're gonna fall into me with an arrow? I got you, let me meet you with my blade. Oh, 
goodness. I don't think he meant the forward smash there. No, not at all. Looking like a very <laughs> deadly <laughs> disembodied. You see, Go dude, Goblin's ready. He's like, I'm done. I don't want to play this set, man. I'm trying to get to Grands. I'm on my way out. Oh, yeah. Temp's still putting up a fight, though. 112% on Goblin here. Nice up smash by Temp. Great down air confirmed from him. Oh, yeah. But 67%, and you're talking Fox Roy here. He's got to be so careful with his next movement I think, here. I think Jab Backer will take it at ledge here. He's so light. I'll be armoring through that. Goblin shouting out these untrue combos, man. There was that weak up air I was talking about. Looking for like a uh, an air dodge. Didn't get it, but. Yeah. Yeah, well, you see the innovations. Yeah, you see it, but Goblin is just up being like a mad lad right now. I think Goblin does have the best upbees out of any more players. Because the moment he gets punished for it, he almost immediately stops. Oh, and yeah. And waits for a while before using it. Yeah, that best part is is he gets these untrue callouts, too. He's like, hey, man, I know this combo isn't true. I'm going to upbeat out of it, and I'm not going to mess up. Nair almost. not killing. <gasps> the two frame! Oh, no way! It's been a long time since I've seen one of those. Way too long. I mean, I see Goblin go for it all the time, and he misses sees. it. Hey, yeah, that's, that's a hard timing. Yeah, that would be great. All right, interested to see where Temp decides to go game two here. That was a real close game Let's one. Run it back. Hey, man, classic. Like the best games are on PS2. Mm -hmm. Best games are on PS2. Imagine the juggles with the platforms are great for both of these oh, characters. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if anything, he doesn't want to give Roy a smaller stage, and he knows if he bans two stages, God, we'll just go to the third one. So might as well go to a stage you're most comfortable with. Up the again out of shield here. Temp's got to watch that shield pressure and make sure he's poking safely. Okay. Ooh, no way! No way! That almost killed! He might die off the edge guard here. <gasps> Bell's back air. <laughs> he almost got the down air confirmed. Goblin says, "Yeah, I'm running through you now. I'm done." Yeah, he's he's ready to get out into winners or losers finals to get that run back on Kawhi here. That parry to Uppy was incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, the momentum's definitely shifted into Goblin's favor here, and he up smashes and just gets it. That was raw. That was raw. He is playing out of his mind right now. He's showing why he is number one in CFL right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, he's just showing us who Goblin really is. That last game, he was like, all right, you know, I kind of let you have advantage for a little bit, but this game, we are not playing. Uh-oh. Look at this. He is standing right no on the ledge. He's insane. He's just not letting Temp breathe. No, not at all. And look how much percent he's already eaten. 57 and climbing here. Still he's struggling. to find his way in neutral. Mm -hmm. Get this edge guard. Oh, no, he's just struggling to confirm that stock. No, he missed it. I don't know if up smash would have connected. It looked like the tech was fine there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this is where it starts. Oh, nice up smash. Starts there. That for was tech, good. Not yeah. Okay. Listen, seventy-one percent. This is still doable here. He's just got to play his cards right. No bad panic options or anything. There's that weak up air like I was talking about. A lot of extra damage you just squeezed out of that. Yeah, look, I mean, connecting with that up B again. You're right, Goblin does have some really good up Bs, especially out of shield here, too. Another one. Oh, man, he is so close to dying, but Temp, great DI. Yeah. Forward throw again to set him off stage. Look at all that extra damage off the pommels. A little early on that neutral B there. Okay. Oh, wow. he barely grabbed that. You saw that. That was beautiful. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's going to take me. They're that's insane. I'm telling you. Dude, he's insane. You listen, you've got to be baiting these uppies, man. You are eating so much damage to that. 12% does not seem like a lot, but you are Fox. That's why it's stale as well. Yes. Yeah. Again, through the jab. Goblin just completely calling us out. It's so hard to get him to stop up being when you're still getting hit by it. Listen, yeah. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. He did it again, but this time got punished for it. Let's see if he adapts or he just is bullish enough to keep going. Hey, man, it's the only time he's been punished so far. What a turn around back air. Okay, now I'm this matchup sorry. is a lot. despicable. No, this is really despicable here. I am interested to see why Goblin picked Falco, but I guess we'll go with it. I think he played him in squad strike at Summit, didn't he? A little bit? I believe so, yeah. I mean, Falco, listen, he is a raw character. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We've seen his emergence with Tilde. Larry Lur played a little bit. My man, Larry Lur. Larry Lur. 
Listen, I think Kawhi is not playing. No Dance! way! Oh. Okay, Goblin has those. Yeah, he has those. Uh, out of anybody to parry, it would be Goblin. For sure. That's grab back throw. So nice scary. Here. Setting him off stage. What's the edge guard? Oh. Yep. Oh, he goes for the side so way too late on there. That's a side B. Yep. You sit and shield that long, you're just asking the yeah. command grab. Acting like you won't get command grab. Oh, yeah. If you are panicking way too hard and quiet, a little bit overextending on ledge there. This is this is blurred. Almost anything from Bowser is going to kill. Oh, yeah. And that side tilt taking it from mid stage here. Still only 96%. What a snag. Yo. He's like, oh, bird, you're a flightless bird here. Come back. You're mine. Oh. He got baited so hard, yes. but I mean, didn't die for it. It's looking okay here. He is still living here, but 122%. Landing Problem. versus Falco is really hard for Bowser. Between the up tilts and the, all the other up airs and everything else. Listen, right on top of him, too, Kawhi has a lot of balls to be landed on him like that. And the back air to take it, 67% on Goblin. 81. This is possible death percent. One nair back air will seal it. Mm. Goblin taking center stage here. I like the high recovery to avoid that flame breath. He knows if he goes low, he's going to be eating 30 plus percent. Exactly. And still get edge guarded. Oh, yeah. For which, uh, great. Oh, trying to read the landing. Kawhi jumping out of that situation. Oh, he did not want that dash attack. No. Kawhi is not a dash attack. What the fair? Anyways, he's like, go ahead. I got Hide it. from me. I got this. What nice parry. parry. Oh, you got to remember, it's a Smash 4 instinct. It goes, you used to go through shield. It's very, it's hard to fight that when you're playing on pure instinct. Oh, yeah, because everybody wants to cross up, but it does not cross up. Great Ooh. high recovery out of Kawhi. That's the first one he's done. He did it early. He's reminding Goblin, I can still do this. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to work a little bit harder to edge guard me. Right, I'm not going to go low. I know that's exactly what you want here as Falco. Oh, okay. the percent's starting to rack up here. Oh, the, the armor. Armors. Are you dead? No. Okay, very scary though. Could have been. I'm waiting for a Kawhi like F smash or something here. I feel like he might let it rip. Kawhi's gotta be careful not to jump the gun too soon. This lead is not far enough yet. Back to back. Do you edge guard here? Do you risk getting side feet? No. It goes for the side tilt, try to get the two frame, but was a little too close there. Oh, that down there would have been crazy a couple of frames earlier. How do you get off ledge? Oh, he just neutral get ups, and he's fine. Bowser still lives these. Oh, what's we he can make these back. He's got the match, but he'll get edge guarded for it. And 84% here, Kawhi. Only moments away here from taking it to game two. Oh, what a great air dodge. Right. Onto that platform, baiting Goblin into that ledge guard. He's like, just let me back the neutral. Ooh. Not true, but if you're not ready for the mix up, we'll get it. Take that extra damage. Yeah, here. Yeah. No grab off the normal get up shield. One more Bowser confirmed here, and that could be it for Goblins game one. Not even confirmed, just a raw hit right here. It's so scary. The up the reaction, that's the safest option for now. I think, if, oh, he didn't angle downwards. No, he missed that two frame. That's he's a so tough low. choke. A side B will secure it almost for sure here. Yeah, he's looking for it. Oh, oh no, he's getting oh, too he's anxious. Down for there. He's got those. Yeah, no. just land, he just wants to land. Ooh, but back here. Oh, he he lived. lived, he lived. No, no way, he goes low for the edge guard. Goblin taking game one from Kawhi. Wow, that's what happens. One panic option versus a Falco, a character that edge guards that hard. Mm -mm. You will get destroyed. You cannot go off stage like that. I thought for sure Falco. he was gonna just down B and snap the ledge instead, but he went for the but he's, he's won, I'm betting it all on the horse here. Fortunately, that horse did not win the race. So he's going to have to go into game two and maybe see if he can take Did he? What is going no, on? Who had Aaron in the building? Yeah, we, we got Aaron. We got Tilde. What's next? I'm trying to see Rob. <laughs> trying to see the Rob? <laughs> That's still Aaron, Loki. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see why Goblin is picking some of these characters. I think he's just kind of having fun with it right now. I think so. Probably doesn't see Kawhi. He's like, all right, I got it with the Falco. I can get with any other character I want. I got this. Yeah, Kawhi is I'm not looking. enjoying that right now. He's like, man, you are going to have to try a lot harder than that with these characters to take these games from me. These are both really hard matchups for Bowser. Ooh, what? Oh, and Kawhi is playing him like it's 60 40. <laughs> <laughs> 
up throw. Does he go for Nair here? Yeah, so much damage. No, that's why we're doing a really good job at those confirms for this percent here. Bowser with Banana is also super scary. Yeah, what do you do against that other than be intimidated? The Z-Drop? Kawhi has those? Mm -hmm. I like the shields on Goblin, though. He has not been hit by one of these Banana. bananas yet. Wow, I can't believe he got the shield there. That's crazy to me. Oh, you don't die here, but it's looking really scary. Diddy's got to kind of work a little bit more for that percent here. Kawhi going to center stage. I like that. I think he is in banana forward to smash kill percent, but you got to get the banana. I feel like that up smash wasn't intended. He wanted up air or something. Oh, jab one side me. Nice. Maybe I was capping. Maybe it is true at high percent. I don't know. Uh, Kawhi proven the odds are not against the him. The banana didn't trip him at any point. That's incredible. Oh, the down to catch the jump in. Kawhi's got him. He must know this, this matchup from somewhere because it's looking really crazy right now. Oh, he even dodges the F smash. No Kawhi way. Lost that words for the defensive play out of Kawhi here. And here's the best part. We are at Bowser. Full rage now. Goblin oh, no. charging the up smash too early. He thought, that, he thought the grab would give him armor, but that doesn't happen until he input the throw command. So a bit of an unfortunate autopilot there, but Diddy is one. One huge punish away from dying, getting oh, free yeah. stuff. <gasps> oh, like, why right would that. he down? Oh, oh he still got out of it! Hit Kawhi! Oh, He's still living! Mm. He's oh, still living! Oh my god, no the high recovery. Way. No way. No, he kills him here, I think. No, okay. He can! He wasn't ready for it, but oh, no! No, oh, he still god. got out of it! No. The Smash Gods, dude, they Two. are in Kawhi's range right now! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> How many of these confirms are you gonna live, Kawhi? Confirm. You are insane! Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got been down smashed. Oh, he didn't down smash there, he decided to jab. I'm not entirely sure if the percent was there, but that's what I would have gone for. Oh, yeah. Take this game here and now. Wow. Oh, he missed that side tilt, but barely. Goblin might drop those kill confirms, but his recovery's looking a little crisp. Mm, I can definitely say that for sure. He has spaced them well enough to knock a two frame yet. But that. <sighs> Might be it. Is that gonna be it? Yeah, it's that gonna be it. That looked a little funky on the DI at the end. I don't know. Mom made dinner. That's she true. Said, she said it's hold. time to eat. Uh, lasagna is ready. Oh yeah. I don't know. Is Goblin gonna go back to the Falco? I mean, he's been playing these secondaries, these tertiary characters against Ka Kawhi, and Kawhi is not having it. I wonder man. if he wants to take that risk. I'm curious. Uh, All right. Well, he is thinking right now. Thinking. He is not picking Roy. <laughs> I don't know. It would be crazy. The Wario. <laughs> you want to see the Goblin the Wario? The Wario is probably crazy. I'm trying to see the God Pac-Man. The God Pac. I'm not going to lie. Go crazy. Because I know he used to be a big fan of this character. Oh, but. Samus? Samus here. What is going on? I mean, you, there was a Twitter time uh -huh. when Goblin was mad That's posting true. about Samus. That's so true. I low-key think Goblin has a hot Samus, but I have not seen it in action. What a spot touch by Kawhi! <laughs> the weird throw input? He must have input buffered that. He must oh, have not man. expected to get it. This, this matchup is probably a lot closer than you think compared to the past two. Oh yeah, I mean, especially for the fact that Samus is so much heavier. Yeah, it is. Her weight, she's heavier than Ridley. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. All that armor, you know what I'm saying? Listen, the big thing about Samus, too, is you've got way more projectiles to zone with. I mean, Diddy's got banana, but she's got charge shot that sets up into a lot of kill confirms. Bomb sets up that ledge for easy edge trapping. Especially against a character like Bowser, whose edge guard's or, uh, recovery's pretty linear here, so Kawhi's yeah, gonna have to get creative. He's been mixing up pretty well. Pass up. Did he not have a jump? Uh, I, don't, I think he thought he had a jump. That's the ooh. only thing I can think of. What? <laughs> okay. It's the Goblin Jump Sam a Snatch. That's what that was. It's true. The Jump Ghost taking you jump. Where are you going? I thought he was going to make that. I, I thought so. <laughs> this might take it. That oh. will. She ain't heavy enough. No. Got to put a couple more tons in that armor suit. For sure. That rift back forward air is a little hard for Bowser to punish here. Oh, and he barely misspaces that grab. Oh, my God. <laughs> he snatched him to the platform. He was like... Come here. Three incredible <laughs> hits out of Kawhi, just like that. He's got a hello read. Ooh, 102% here. He read that jump off ledge. 
However, you are off stage now versus Samus. This is where it gets a little dicey here. How do you get off ledge? Mm, You're a big know. boy. Oh, he goes no, for the downer, but why? He's not feeling it. No, he was scared of that downer, so he upbeat a lot earlier. It's exactly what Goblin wants here. Again, I wonder if he thought he didn't have a jump. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. No way. He is struggling to get in right now, eating this percent. He's trying to figure out how to get around these the patterns here. Mm -hmm. Side B go? here, that is not gonna kill. Not enough rage. Maybe a little bit more and we'll be good. Wow. No oh, two frame either. That is a tough one. Oh! Really oh yeah. That that was clean movement right there by Kawhi. Still keeping it close to Goblin here. Now how Goblin not Goblin. How Kawhi plays around these projectiles with these platforms is gonna be really important here. I mean you've got 54% to make up for here. I think but he's about to make it up. And he's made it up real quick, missing that grab. Oh, this is the last stock. This is so intense right now. I know, and we're not even on to the next game yet here. This will definitely determine the momentum of the set. Uh, you got Samus's consistent zoning versus Bowser's explosiveness. Oh. The last last hit to possibly situation. Wow. Oh, Goblin, mistiming that neutral B. Oh, so scary. They're charging it right there. That's so scary. Nice parry by Kawhi, though. Oh, the B reverse neutral B. We live those, though. We're a big boy. There's the bomb. And he dare dodges into the platform. How is he going to get off? That was weak hit back air. Oh, Kawhi, how do you get off ledge here? OK. There it is. Full rage Bowser. Oh, my god. Up, Up throw? throw? No way. No, no not against him. Now it's definitely taking it. Oh, oh up he had a shield. Down smash, we'll take this. No, oh. back throw or no, up, up throw. throw yeah. yeah. That was tight. Yeah, that was real tight. Close, close, close by Kawhi there. But I'm curious to see what pocket Goblin pulls out next. I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't check on the rules. Is Juicy's character first, then stage? I believe it is stage, then character. But I think you have to tell your opponent if you're switching or not beforehand. But There's there the it That's is. That's why I asked. That's why I asked, because he pick, he locks in the Roy, now he's gonna pick a different stage. Because Smashville, one of Roy's best stages. Yeah. All the all the fast fall sorties definitely love that stage. Oh yeah. Oh god. <laughs> he's thinking. He's thinking. He's thinking he's like, okay, I saw the Roy here. You know what would be a great bait is if Goblin picked Roy right there, and then now that he picks a different stage, picks a different character. I'm very curious if if the TOs will let that run. Mm. They still locked it. Oh? What is going on? Now, these guys are taking forever to decide what's it. Oh, oh, the music counter. Kazuya Mishima, baby. All right. We're looking good here. And Kawhi feeling it. Oh, that's yeah, a bomb. That's a bomb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Game number four. And now the Roy finally comes out. Goblin says, I'm done playing games here. Let's get this moving. We're gaming, but I ain't playing no games. Oh, no, not anymore here. On to our game four. Down throw here, and Goblin so far setting up with the percent. Oh, goodness. He's, he's feeling the nerves. Mm -hmm. He's feeling it real bad. Up being really, really early there. What's the stage option? Oh, are you dead? No way! He kills him a zero to death. Kawhi held in, I think. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it's a big boy thing. I don't know if that would have been true if he died away, but he's always scary. You can tell right now the pressure is really That was a zero Kawhi. to death. Yeah, and still no percent. Oh, my God. No, no way. way! Catching that neutral getup. Kawhi, you gotta get something here, big no. dog. <laughs> oh my no god! No way! I'm no. not saying it. I'm uh, not saying it. I'm not saying anything. I'm keeping my mouth completely shut. No. Oh. Okay, there's no JV4, Ooh. but oh, that was rough. This has got to be a very hard matchup oh, for Bowser. Yeah. Oh. oh my god! He lived. Goblin, oh. yeah! <laughs> Okay. That we take those. Hey. We take those. JV3 now? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Not yet. I don't feel bad saying it. That JV4 would have been crazy. Oh, no, no, no. oh yeah, that was that was too close. Goblin's still feeling the pressure here. No way, no way that kills. I I've noticed that a <laughs> lot of Roy's actually now are going through going through down throw and expecting you to die away. Yeah. And then they go for the jump back here. Because yeah. you're not ready for it. And it kills. That was crazy. Oh. Have probably the same grand finals. We have legendary Goblin versus legendary oh, yeah. 
Um, Jake, I'm sorry. I was looking at Kawhi's name. I was like, that's not Kawhi anymore. <laughs> that's not Kawhi, but I mean, Kawhi did make it all the way to losers' finals. Absolutely. Here, so we got to give it up to him for that. And most of it was through winners too. Right. And all right. So nice mining. And some good early percent here for Jake, getting 94 on Goblin already. Ooh, little, I love how he does a little extra damage. He overcommits just enough that Roy can handle, and uh, Steve, or Enderman, can't really do a whole lot about. So it gets a little forward air extra. I like it. A little. I think the best part about that fair, too, is if Jake decides to side B early, he'll get the strong hit fair, and it'll kill yeah. him. So it's more of like a, a bad player check. Like, are you going to ignorantly side B here? Ooh, good tech. Ooh. Down smash catches the roll in. He was definitely expecting some sort of disadvantage option as um, from Goblin, and he's like, ah, you ro you rolled in, you air dodge in, doesn't matter. Down smash, meets your stock. He's sitting pretty. Now he, he didn't even have to mine for diamond yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got that diamond unlocked, but he is saving it up. No pickaxe remaining, though. The kill options are going to change a little bit here. Now here's the fundamental game plan of a speed player at Hypersense. When they don't have iron and they have diamond, they can't really do a whole lot. They can't really mine because their stuff is broken. They can't get diamond because they don't want to use it yet. Right. So they're just going to be start. They're going to start using the really weird options. Yeah. The four smashes, the back airs, really nearly. Now he has diamond. Now his entire game plan is back to what you would expect of a speed player. Right. Oh, nice setup with the TNT trap there yet again, and the drop down fair to catch Goblin. Low, low, low. Ooh, good catch Ooh. on the air dodge. Again with the double jump forward here. I love it. A little bit of chip damage there. He is not in risk. Ooh, that could have been the stock to even the game. I wouldn't think that would kill, but then we just saw it kill Bowser in the uh. previous game. So now... <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, anything is possible yeah. when you're talking Goblin. And oh, Roy! double hit of Dallas Smash. He said you like the first one. You're going to love the second one. <laughs> I, hear, I hear they're buy one, get one free. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Jake putting it on sale here in that down air, just taking it. Ooh. And these stocks are just flying off the shelf. Oh, Wholesale everything. Dude, Jake, Jake is done playing, man. He's like, you made it all the way to Losers Finals. That's fine. But I'm here to win. Yeah. So you can have this, hold it, and, and get out of here. All right, Town and City is the counter pick here. Definitely good space. And you know, I've noticed something that I talked to Richie about earlier. Jake is no longer playing Steve. He's playing Ender. Yeah, what's going on with that? It's what his happened? dark side. It's his edgy, <laughs> ultra ego. Evil Jake. He made third and this went. <laughs> he went. That's it. Enough, Steve. I respect it. Evil Jake, be like, I have fundies. <laughs> I have fundies. <laughs> Air dodging back in here and oh. Oh, GGs. He down smashes. What? That was honestly really smart. He was noticing SDI from Goblin to try to get out of the combo, the jab, jab, forward air, jab, jab, forward air nonsense. So he's like, I'm just going to cut it with a down smash. That's more than enough percent, too. Oh, Goblin not getting the kill almost, though. And he Questionable. Oh, 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 questionable, questionable decision making. <laughs> I was a little scared there. I was like, all right, he got the parry. All right, avoiding the minecart, really good. And I love... Jake's recognition of when he throws at the minecart, what options your opponent actually has. Mm -hmm. He just goes for a dash attack and calls it a day. That's not going to take up stock yet. The down air. He tried to put still down. Yeah, he I know to for a still fact. Down air. Oh, the jump. Good up tilt by Goblin to catch that. I feel like people underestimate the anti-air kill moves, especially when people land in your shield, because right. they're always going to jump with some sort of other option, and they say, no, anti-air kill moves. Yeah, like, look at this up tilt. You're going to eat this. Oh, no, Jake, my man. What, what are we doing Did Goblin do that on purpose? He went down there to threaten him mm -hmm. and did hit no buttons. He just went down there. So no forward air, no down air, no none. What I was going to say what that looked like is Steve can do this thing with his recovery where if you pull it up just at the right time, you get maximum yeah. length from the recovery. I think Jake might have messed it up as well because of that pressure. Okay. Miss inputs are fair. You know, it happens. Oh, no iron here. He's got to mine a little bit. Roy's doing Roy things. On town and city, so it's dangerous. We do have tech scenario percent. 64 plus percent, you can die from a double edge dance on the platforms. Especially this combination specifically. Right. And he's dancing around the threat range. Please don't be there. Oh, come on. Get off the platforms That's, here. See, he's thinking it too. <laughs> he had it in his head. I've seen him do it before. I've seen him kill characters at 40. That's I would much rather chill on the center plant than the side plants. That's too dangerous. Oh, yeah. You're risking way too much there. And Diamond on lock here. He air dodges in. 
Because he thought he was going to get hit yeah. by that side beam. He was, I don't know why he was air dodging in for. Well, fun fact, that's the most common disadvantage option that people use against Roy players. That's why they only ever... Sometimes the mix-up is double edge dance, one, two, wait for them to be do something stupid, like an air dodge in usually, mm -hmm. and then up smash, forward smash, side B, like anything you want. Oh, yeah. Because people just like, you expect them to do a jumping back air or jumping forward air, right. which positions them to the right. You air dodge in, it gets you're set, you're miss. reset. Yeah, and then they put themselves in disadvantage. All right, starting out again here. Game three going to small battlefield. Oh, he fell out of that uppy there. Nice spot dodge there to get 56% yeah. off rip. Up things to not even confirm anything else but the up single up tilt up smash. Mm -hmm. Kind of uncharacteristic of a Steve player, especially Jake's caliber. 75% here. Yeah. Careful being under Steve, oh. or excuse me, on top of Steve. That's like the even worst, worst place to be. TNT Trap again, tapping Goblin for a little bit more percent and giving Jake that stage control. Mm -hmm. Goblin taking it right back, being aggressive, poking the crafting table very smart. Now it takes a lot of time for him to summon it again. And if he choose, oh, okay, the TNT Trap still not killing, wow. So for anyone who's confused what's happening, Steve plants the TNT, and he uses down smash to blow it up. Yeah, but by blowing it up, dodge. he buffers air dodge because he no longer has footing. So he has the invincibility to go through the TNT's explosion, causing it to, you know, hit people on ledge. Nice fair there. Very difficult to get past. Another thing about the TNT that's interesting is if you are the one to blow it up, you actually take less damage and knockback than the opponent. That sounds like a, a snake kind of privilege. Yeah, it is a big snake privilege, especially for Steve. I mean, having access to a tool like that, that is such a great burst option, mm -hmm. how do you punish it? <laughs> Nice backer there by Jake to check that jump. And when they have the star KO, he has so much time to mine, set up anything. It's like, it's like when Puff gets rest and you get a screen star yeah. KO. It is the worst feeling, but 10 times more dangerous. Now look how much iron he has. He tried to get that TNT set up. If he grabbed him, he would have backthrown him into the TNT, and that would have been disastrous. You can also up throw into it, and the pressure plate, the piston hits the pressure really? plate, blows it up. Really? Yeah. That's hilarious. Because look how low these platforms yeah. are on this stage. That's so funny. Nice up to reaction. He is not scared of minecart at all. Good edge guarding by Goblin. See what he does with it. Okay. He saw the minecart, didn't want to like pressure his luck or anything, so he just let it go. That's fine. Ooh, He's going to get the stock anyway. Yep. Chat back here there. Jake out of a bit of a disadvantage here, 88% on Goblin. I love the reason why he did that. He broke the crafting table, forcing him to summon it. So he only has limited invincibility now. Mm -hmm. He crafts whatever he wants. Goblin waits for the right time when his invincibility is about to end, which is right when the crafting ends, and he gets a free neutral air. Right. I wanted to say that as well. That anvil punish right there, using down smash to kind of get Goblin off of him. Up smash going to take it here. And keep in mind, we are talking Steve. If he gets one up tilt, that could be 60%, yeah. even in the game out, pretty close. <gasps> the block didn't save him, no tech scenario. The block was like, I gotta go. <laughs> Goblin's hit me, I gotta go. Nice, reads the roll in. Jake's struggling to get back to stage here. Yeah, he has no iron, it's kind of difficult. Mm -hmm. If you have no iron, that doesn't just mean you can't like do anvil or minecart, but what that means is you don't have that stalling or recovery option. You only have up B, and like you're just kind of falling there. Look, and that's that's what sizes you up to at that point, because it's like, oh, you don't got the the tools that you yeah. need to get back. <laughs> Let me show you what being edge guarded actually looks like. The right tool makes all the difference. Oh yeah, and without it, you are in big trouble against a player like Goblin here. All right, let's get into our game four here. Ba, ba, ba. Goblin looking in a prime position to take this into a Grand Finals reset. I'm instantly shielding that jab and getting in for the punish. There's the up tilt strength. Anvil, Down. questionable. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if you meant to do that. I feel like it was some sort of um, no impact landing kind of tech where he tried to fast fall at the right timing and excellent got down there. Right. Because of that now, still with the momentum here, Jake definitely swiping it away from Goblin a little bit. Oh, he does up tilt there too. Yep. Yeah, that also works. So I guess any hitbox at all? Yeah, up tilt, up throw, uh, even like the minecart while you're sitting in it. Yep. Just activate the pressure plate. 
tries to up be in and dies for it. Yeah. No way, Jake, with the misread there. I feel like he thought that Roy or Goblin would want to do a falling aerial, which causes you to jump first. Right. And if you jump first against anti-air up smash, similar to what he did recently with this uh, Roy's up tilt. I mean, like Richie was saying earlier, Goblin has been kind of testing with these weak hit up airs and up tilts a lot more. So that might be what Jake is reading, but Goblin is just so patient. He understands that against Steve, let him make that option first. Punish him for the ignorant things that he does, and then kill him. <laughs> that is the weirdest forward air to see. It's <laughs> huge. <laughs> it looks so pathetic. Like, <laughs> like eh, and Goblin still dies to it at 150. I mean, I'd be pretty scared too if some guy just came up to me and threw a hammer at me. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> He's just swinging a bunch of sharp tools all in my face. Oh, oh the Steve combos, baby. Diamond, is he gonna use it? I wonder. Oh, overextends a little bit too much there and now in disadvantage here. <gasps> block Ooh, saves him. I was really scared if that was untechable and it hit the bottom of the block. See, that uh. block has got your back. That block is a true homie. <laughs> he's he's the said, other one I'll clip. catch you. I'll catch you when you fall. The other one, fake friends. Yeah, they crush under pressure. Yeah. Dirt block. Yeah. Dirt block always got me. You lean on them and they disappear. Where are they at? <laughs> Not here. And the diamond tools are active now. Oh! oh! What a fair by Jake. I was a little surprised that worked. Yeah. I mean, he caught him barely, though. The Endermen are a little tall. So you, <laughs> it's easy to catch him in some of those kind of combos. That's We can John that. Right. I think he usually ends his combos a lot like more prematurely than you expect. Mm. We saw earlier with the down smash thing, and now we're seeing a lot of like the jabs and the forward air into immediate forward smash. I think one thing Jake's afraid of, too, is that move right there in particular. The yeah. up B that Goblin is so well at timing. You eat a lot of percent for it, and you don't want that. So ending your combos earlier and getting percent might be a little more important in this sense. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> that mine poor minecart. Yeah. What did he do to you? What did he say? He's done far too much to me. Oh, I know. I can tell. A lot of players, clearly, and Goblin just getting revenge for everybody. There! What? Yikes. Jake smash, Yikes. baby. That's going to bring us to a game five, uh -huh. actually. So Jake is opening the door for him to be like, no reset. Ooh. Just a game five. You got far enough. Listen, I Please. saw you hit minecart. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you like you hit minecart. That's how it feels. Do it again. Um, the concept there, the biggest thing I saw was at high percents, especially when you have no materials that Jake or Jake Steve didn't have many materials. You right. can't mine. You don't have iron. Nope. You have to make plays either forward air, back air, or forward smash. And that's why he got greedy with the forward smashes. It seemed really like off brand to just do a random forward smash there. But that was honestly the best thing he could have done because he couldn't do anything else. Yeah, I mean, especially picking these fast burst options too. It's a good punish and good shield pressure too. Goblin isn't even facing the right way in that scenario. So what's the problem with doing that? What's he going to back air out of shield? You can just back away from that. It's too slow. There's those uppies that I was talking about just a minute ago here, coming out. All right, now evening it up. Pretty solid gameplay. We saw Jake pulling ahead a lot, but now it's really even. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed too with Jake using that elytra, it kind of is like a burst option hitbox. If you are pressuring him too close, he's got uppies as well, yeah. man. Almost like a Diddy Kong barrel, but not nearly as uh, explosive. No. <laughs> And a little more safe, I'd like to say, for Steve, because if he gets hit with it from the up B, he doesn't go flying yeah. away. Or does he? <laughs> I mean, there it goes right there, a bad example. Nice spot dodge by Jake. <gasps> that does cover a lot of options, doesn't it? Oh, I did not think about down air. That is innovative. That was a bit greedy, I think. Oh, but he is still living. He doesn't have any iron, which means he has he doesn't really have a lot of good resources. Weird how he used grab as a punish. And oh! <laughs> what do you Jake. do there? What do you do there? Nothing. Don't don't get up. Stay on ledge. Stay on ledge. I mean, if you're a good character, you could probably drop down and do something. But yeah, but not Roy. He's got to be so careful with that too. And the comeback material. But these yeah. are the advantage materials we're talking yeah. about here. You have to like calm down and take analysis of the situation. You are a stock down against Steve with iron and diamonds. And you're off stage. And now you're at 50%. This is kill This percent. is not good. <laughs> good and he's using up tilt. Uh, this is the worst uh, spot you could be. What do you do? Oh! <laughs> Jake smash, baby, to take game five. What a shitty old break to end it.